When working with polygonal meshes, you can take advantage of a material attribute called smoothing. Smoothing is a shading technique that makes it look like the geometry of your mesh items have more detail than they actually do. Smoothing attempts to reduce the faceting that occurs between the faces that make up the surfaces of mesh items. A smoothing value of 0% produces a flat or faceted look, while 100% attempts to hide the individual faces. You can control which faces receive smoothing by adjusting the smoothing angle attribute. This value sets a maximum angle tolerance between two polygons based on their normals. If the angle between the polygons is greater than the smoothing angle, no smoothing occurs. While this can handle a lot of situations, it doesn't always offer enough control for all the different topology configurations you may encounter. Fortunately, Moto offers additional options to help control the smoothing of meshes. Let's take a brief look at what's available. Smoothing groups enable you to define smoothing between polygons based on groups. The smoothing group UI can be accessed from the game toolbar, and has a default array of smoothing groups that can be toggled for selecting polygons using the buttons in the UI. Selected polys can be added to a group by simply clicking on a group in the UI. The buttons have three states that show the current status of each group for currently selected polygons. Unhighlighted buttons represent groups not applied to the current selection. Semi-highlighted buttons show groups applied to some of the current selection. And highlighted buttons represent groups applied to all of the current selection. Adding polygons to more than one group allows those polys to blend between groups. Using key modifiers with the smoothing group UI enables you to use it as a selection tool. Holding Alt will allow you to select polys in a group. Holding Control deselects polys in a group. And Shift enables you to add polys in a group to the current selection. Using smoothing groups could be a quick way to manage the smoothing of your surfaces, so spend some time experimenting with this method to see if it could be a smoothing method that works for you. Another option for controlling the smoothing of surfaces is working with hard edge smoothing. Also located in the game toolbar, this method enables you to apply softer or harder normals to edges. Let's take a look. Using the harden button on selected edges will split the smoothing of vertex normals and produce a sharp edge. When hardened edges are created, a new hard edge vertex map is created that stores this information to verts in the mesh. To soften the edges, simply use the soften button. Note that the hard edge vertex map will be removed if no hard edges exist in the mesh. There are several options available in the drop down menu for hardening and softening edges. By default, these attributes are set to automatic, which uses vert, edge, or poly selection to define which edges are hardened. When set to vertices, any edge connected to the selected vert will be affected. Endpoints requires both verts that make up an edge to be selected in order for the edge to be affected. When set to edges, any edge selected will be affected. Polygons will affect all edges that make up the selected polygons, while polygon boundary will not affect the internal edges in a polygon selection. The UV options enable you to create hard and soft edges based on UV boundary edges. An incredibly handy option is the by angle option. If hardening, this option will harden edges which are sharper than the given angle defined by the angle attribute. If softening, this option will soften edges that are shallower than the given angle. This can be a fast way to avoid smoothing at hard edges such as right angles. You can also take advantage of the Select Hard Edges and Select Soft Edges button once a hard edge map is available. As you can see, Moto offers a variety of ways to manage the smoothing of surfaces. As always, you'll want to spend some time experimenting with all of these options so you can choose what works best for your future assets.